Moncada runs. Jimenez, a towering fly ball to center field, and it is up and out of here. Mount Eloy erupts for the first time. Welcome back, everyone, to another MLB recap. And in the intro clip, you saw Eloy Jimenez hit his first Major League home run. And now in this clip, you are seeing him hit his second MLB home run. In one game, he has hit both home runs. The last White Sox to do that, Jose Abreu in 2014. So that's some good company for him. He did not get a chance to hit his third as this game ended due to rain in seven innings. White Sox won against the Yankees. Yasmani Grandal hit a huge go-ahead homer in the fifth inning to help the Brewers beat his old team in LA in his old ballpark. This was not before Cody Bellinger slugged his eighth homer of the year, but still, a win is a win for the Brewers and they will take it, especially Yasmani Grandal's return. The Astros are finally going to stop the Mariners' win streak with a pair of Grand Slams, one for Jose Altuve and one from Yuri Gurriel. Now, the Astros, they gained one game in the AL West. They are now three games behind the Red Hot Mariners, who sit at 13-3 after tonight's game. Manny Machado does it again. He hit another homer with the Padres, and he had a few nice defensive plays to help the Padres secure their 10th win on the season. They have a 10-5 record. First team in the NL West to have 10 wins this year before the Dodgers, before the Rockies, before everyone else, the Padres. This is getting out of hand. Two days ago, Chris Davis hit two homers. Yesterday, Chris Davis hit two homers. And tonight, Chris Davis slugging his 10th homer of the year. And it was a go-ahead one in the top of the 8th against the Rangers. A is going to take this one 8-6. They get their 10th win of the year, led by Chris Crush Davis. Colin Moran hit a clutch three-run pinch hit homer as the Pirates are going to defeat the Nationals by a score of 6-3. Pittsburgh has a 7-5 record. They've really been flying under the radar as they are only one game behind the Brewers for first place in the NL Central. So now going through the rest of today's games, the Royals got their third win of the season behind a big homer from Alex Gordon. They beat the Indians 8-1. The Mets, they are able to knock off the Braves for their ninth run of the season behind Nimmo and McNeil. They win this one by a score of 6-2. Phillies take down the Marlins 9-1. Jake Arrieta gets his 100th career win. The Red Sox improve to 5-9, same record as the Orioles after they beat the Orioles by a score of 6 Six to four. Austin Meadows and Low hit two homers for the Rays as the Rays will win this one 11-7. They are red hot to start this year as they are 11-3, first in the AL East. And the Cubs beat the Angels 5-1. to one. Those are some of the best games of the day, but I have one game that was definitely the best. This one, Giants and Rockies. It went into 18 innings. It was the longest game in Oracle Park history, or one of the longest ones in Oracle Park history. And I'm just going to roll the clip and show you guys how that one panned out. On the ground. They're going to come home. And they did not get him. They're going to say Ionetta was off the plate, and this game is over. Although the Rockies are going to want everybody to look at it, as you would expect. See if they show it. Well, they're not going to show. Oh, here they wait till you hear. Oh, that's it. So they just called it over. And the Giants are going to win this one in the 18th inning.